He's got a stocky build, a wrinkly face, and is covered in fur. And lately, this pug named Polo from Wayne County has become quite the Facebook phenomenon during the pandemic. He's the focus of today's Reasons to Smile with Ryan in the digital studio, and he is so cute. Ryan, good morning, and he's, you too as well. Oh, thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Hey, from Florida to Texas, even all the way to Australia. Tom, I don't know what it is. I want to channel Oprah when I say that. Australia! Remember that? Come on, I want to see you like do your down under. Yeah, right? Okay, hey, this three-year-old pug who we're talking about from the Lakeville area, let me tell you, he has quite the following, stealing hearts of thousands around the globe. Yeah, sure, people love seeing him dress up in different outfits, but it's what this dapper dog's Facebook fans did that recently got our attention. It's a Facebook group that all started thanks to one pet parent near Lake Wallen Pulpack who wanted to create a space that could give people a pick me up during some of the darkest days of the pandemic in 2020. During the COVID thing, it seemed everything was so sad and I wanted to create a group that was happy. And Polo here, he just loves to pose for pictures that Facebook group Lisa Fennell started called Polo at Work now has more than 5,000 members. Fans of this three-year-old fur baby who chatted with me recently on Zoom from our area and beyond all to share their love of this polished pug. I moved to Tafton, Pennsylvania last year. I'm from South Carolina. I'm Sarasota, Florida. I'm Hamilton, New Jersey. San Antonio, Texas. I'm from Australia, living in Sydney. I absolutely love this group. I love pugs. I'm a huge fan. I stalk pug pages. Don't have one yet, but basically I fell in love with Polo as soon as I saw him in this group. So therapeutic, so healing. I am from Mexico City and I arrived in Facebook with Polo, uh, falling in love with his clothes. And I realized that he is part now of my family, of my life. And while some of Polo's fans continue to come to the Facebook group to scope out his clothes or just those sweet, simple snapshots of this little guy living his best life, others have turned to his manager, uh, we mean mom, for pet parent tips. After all, Lisa has been a dog groomer for three decades. I'd been following her because I was getting ready to buy a pug. I just saw how well trained and the connection her and Polo had, and it blew me away. There are two peas in a pod that can conquer the world together. And if there is one thing we know for sure about any four-legged friend. The love of animals can bring anyone together. Proof of that came this past June. Lisa's husband, John, took a serious stroke. It just got to our hearts and we had to find a way to help our dear Lisa and Polo and family. John is the most caring person. He's a go-getter. He loves people. I rallied up the troops here in Polo Nation and we raised over $10,000 so far through PayPal fundraiser, through mail, through GoFundMe. Money that'll be used to help John with medical expenses and help make improvements to his home so he can get around a little easier. But the financial help was just the start of Polo's fans. Take a look at this wall of get well wishes that came in for Polo's dad, John, shortly after his stroke. How many cards in all, Lisa? Probably about 650 now from all around the world. If you get depressed or anything, I just touch that wall and I can just feel everybody's love. All because of a dapper dog whose eye-catching costumes first captured people's attention and later their hearts. All right, if you're checking this out and you're like, how do I get more of Polo in my life? Well, you could actually scope out Polo at Work on Facebook, the private group. We have a link to all of the information, as well as the fundraisers that Polo Nation has launched to help out Lisa's husband, all at WNEP.com slash websites. All right, it's still Monday. If you need another pick-me-up, still ahead at 610 this morning, we are taking a closer look at the sweet snapshots of back-to-school photos. Speaking of smiling, Tom, wait until you see some of the cute kiddos a lot of parents sent us and the throwback photos of many of your pics as well from like the 80s. Remember those pics back I, in the day? I do and I remember my pictures from chubby Tom from the 70s. I don't want to show those. I would love to see that. <laughs> you should have called my Tom, mom. Tom, you're beautiful. All right. Thanks, Ryan. See you later. Let's check it.